Hello and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be looking at panel regressions, or at least the very basis of panel regressions in starter. There's a lot more things to explore, but today hopefully I'll give you a nice introduction so you can start your own work using panel models. To use, uh, well, for today's uh, example, we're going to be using a data set online used or uh, named invest2. Going to set everything up in a do file to make everything a lot easier. We use web use invest2 comma clear to load in the data set so we have everything we need. In this nice little data set here, we have a variable invest that will be our dependent variable on market and stock. And then we can see for our entities, we have different companies, one, two, three, and so forth over 20 different time periods, which I'm just going to take as yearly observations in this case. So first, before we can run any of our panel models here, we have to tell Stata this is indeed a panel setting. We use TS set to do so. In this case, just company, time, and yearly will tell that this we have yearly observations in a panel setting. So let's just run this here. And now we can see it's a strongly balanced panel set. I would like to point out for the things I'm showing you here, I'm only going to show how to do it in Stata. All the, all the theory behind it, I would like to refer to one of my lecture videos. Hopefully it should be a link on the screen somewhere right now. And uh, then you can check if you want to learn more about, well, the ins and outs of these panel models here. Today, I'm just going to show you how to actually conduct them. The first thing we can do is just run a regular OLS. Now, why am I doing that? Well, first let's run it up here. So we're going to invest on market and stock. Running this here, when we have panel data set available, it's just known as a pooled OLS model, P-O-L-S, pools, right? So here we're essentially just neglecting any panel feature of that we have available, and we're just assuming that there's no heterogeneity to be found in our data set, which is often wrong. So here we are simply just stacking everything up to one big cross section, even though we have observations over different years. There's many different issues with this and more about that in the lecture video if you want to know that. But now you know what the basis we're coming from here. Now, for today, we're going to be using XTREC to conduct our panel regressions. That has the same syntax besides the name just being XTREC. So invest in market and stock. And then you have to give it an option for which kind of model you want to use. You can of course always consult the help file for different models. I'm going to be showing you fixed effects and random effects. So for fixed effects, you just write comma FE. And this here will give you the simplistic outcome in the sense that you just have a fixed effects model. Now, what you learn in class is that a fixed effects can be estimated with or made with a within transformation or an LSDV. Well, not transformation, but LSDV method, right? In this case here, Stata uses the within transformation, so you don't see all these dummies that you otherwise would have to add using an LSTV approach. But I would like to show you here how you can actually accomplish, uh, accomplish that in a simple way, so you can actually show that it doesn't matter which one you use, they will always yield the same result. It is just often much easier to use a within transformation. Well, it takes up a lot less space. And mathematically identical, like I said, so there should be no harm done here. No. One more thing, so let's take a look at it. To accomplish this, I'm going to use REG. REG is a call you can make in Stata if you have a large amount of dummy variables to include. So in this case here, it takes on the same syntax otherwise, like this. Always consult the help file if you want to learn more about this REG. You would have to write absorb, and in here, you simply just put in the variable to be absorbed, so to speak. That is the variable that indicates the different entities you have in the data set such that Stata automatically constructs a dummy for them, except one, of course. And then you can run an LSTV approach. In our case, it's company, so that we have here. And now we can simply just run this here, which should hopefully yield exactly the same results as we saw here before with using a fixed effects regression. So there we go. Let's take a quick look at this and then zoom up here or scroll up here and we indeed see they produce exactly identical results. A couple of notes I would like to uh, say here. What are we actually doing in a fixed effects regression? Well, essentially you're adding a dummy to each of these here. So you should imagine each of these different entities or companies in our case have their own intercept, that is their entity fixed effects. So here we are embracing the potential heterogeneity you have in the model. And therefore we also get a different way you should interpret this. I'm just not going to go into details here, but I should note that normally in an OLS setting, like we've done here in the beginning, we know how to interpret that. But now when you interpret a fixed effects model, 
you're now doing it, say, in this case, for a given company over time. That is, you would say, for an increase in market, for a given company over time, you see that the investment will change by this number. That's how you should say it like this. The key here being for a given company over time. One more note I'd like to point out here is that below both this one here, the F test of all these UI, these are the fixed effects all equal to zero. So you see this join test here. We see that we rejected. This is actually a redundant fixed effects test that tells you that it's preferred to run a fixed effects over a pooled OLS model. In other words, again, this shows that there's significant amount of heterogeneity in your data set. Likewise, you actually see in the R rig here, it's called a little different. It's the absorbed indicators, but it produce, it's the exact same result, just called something a little different. But in essence, it's just a redundant fixed effects test that tells you, again, we prefer a fixed effects model. Finally, I would like to show you, in this case here, how we run a random effects model, suppose you wish to do so. Same call, but now comma R E. And here you see what we actually get here. Of course, we have the random effects assumption. More about that in the lecture if you want to see that. And then you can see this is also how we can easily do this in Stata. And that was all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this panel regression 101. And hopefully this provides a stepping stone for you to become better with panel using, well, Stata in this case. My name is Stefan Eriksson. And until next time. Mm-hmm.